All right, I'm back. <laughs> Damn, it feels like I'm barely making videos anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I'm busy, man. I'm busy. Um, <clears throat> all right. No shave ridge for today. Uh, I don't got a beer lined up. I don't got a water lined up. I'm still doing fasting, and I'm kind of like working, working it out. So, um, kind of doing my thing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then trying to be as good as possible Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday. Um, so, I don't know. It's a developing thing, um, but I, I'm. It's better than not doing anything. <laughs> okay, so. We got some Hags Memento Mori, and Hags is um, it's an acronym for Have a Good Shave, Have a Great Shave, um, and they're out of Athens, Greece. So we got some international right here. I like the little uh, seal wrap. Barrister and Man used to do that. Very nice. So four ounces. And this is in their Guinness soap base. So this is a beer soap base. Uh, one of four of their different soap bases, which is pretty cool. You can see we got some pretty key ingredients here. Uh, Guinness beer, um, duck fat, beef tallow, castor oil, goat's milk, coconut butter, shea butter, lanolin. I uh, don't know what evening primrose oil is. Haven't heard of that one before. Uh, jojoba oil, kaolin clay. Tussa Silk, like a lot of the good shit. So really cool. We got this kind of like very colorful skull amongst the darkness. Very cool label. And I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but it actually got hags right there in the in the shadows. Very cool. On the inside, we got a typical uh, looking soap base here. We kind of got like the, uh, the Freddy scarred skin type look over here on this side and then you can see where I scooped it to bowl lather on that side and then on the bottom we got a bunch of valuable information it says the Guinness base the scent notes dark chocolate rum caramel coffee sugarcane almond sandalwood and heliotrope and um, you could see they kind of even put the scent strength right there so a little bit above medium and I would agree with that. This one is bold and banging. Um, they did well. They did well with the scent strength on this one. And I really like the scent. And I read those scent notes backwards on my side. So props to me. I did that pretty well. Getting good at that shit. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. The scent is inspired by a niche fragrance house called Killian. And this one is inspired by Killian's Black Phantom, which was released in 2017. And it is quite a popular one. You know, I'm I'm on the outskirts of the fragrance community, but I've I've heard a lot about Black Phantom. So I think since it is an expensive one, I think what I'm gonna try to do is um I think I'm gonna try to find a dupe of it or something cheaper since I can't get the hags. EDT here in the states because of alcohol and, and whatnot nobody sells it over here anyways bullseye brushworks we got this deep dark purple with a um viking odin's beard um uh, badger knot on top and we got our thirsty badger shave bowl right here which is beautiful bowl out of canada so that is the lather and then we're going to be using this classy gent right here this is the wacker solingen chevalier and you can kind of see the uh, little spine detailing up there kind of got that uh, i believe that's a french point full hollow i believe correct me if i'm wrong horn scales very nice horn scales i really like the uh the contrast between the uh, darker brown and then the lighter kind of ivory look very very nice razor one of my favorites and that has a um, Seth Jesus of vegans edge on it so that is what we're gonna be using today let's go ahead and get some 
moisture on the skin and we will lather up. So hope everybody is doing well today. Filming this on Monday. Again, very shorthanded at work, very busy, and um, just picking up the slack as per usual. <laughs> people calling in, people on vacation, and leave it to me to pick up the slack. <laughs> okay. And then on top of that, don't want to get too far off track here, but on top of that, I went to uh, go home during my lunch to feed my puppy lemon winks and my car wouldn't start and you know if you remember me talking about my car problems in February and January and that we installed a bypass for the uh, fuel pump um, relay but we were waiting for the actual part to come in so that we could just replace it and it'll work without the bypass and um, so that part was supposed to come in middle of February and it's now middle of March and still hasn't came in so that has really been frustrating me as of late um, I'm tired of having to use the bypass I just want my car back in action you know working normally on well, my truck I should say anyway so my truck wouldn't start today I don't know if I left the door open or the lights on I don't know what the hell happened but Shit was deader than the door now when I went on my lunch today. So I hit up my brother and told him after work, you know, I'm going to need a jump so that I can get home. And luckily it fired right up. And then um, when I went home, I let it run for about a half hour. Then I went and took a walk with my puppy for about another half hour. And then I came back, tried to see if it would fire up, and it did. So hopefully tomorrow morning when it's time to go to work hopefully it fires right up so fingers crossed wish me luck all right so good looking lather very low structure I loaded my typical you know really fat almond size uh, scoop And I had used this once prior. It was actually it was actually my little brother's uh, birthday this weekend, and um, I kind of got I was short on time, so I I wanted to make a video with Hags um, being kind of like my first impression with the beer base, but since I was in a hurry, I just did the shave. And, um, didn't make a I, I wasn't able to make a video. I didn't have time. So today will be my second use of Hag's Beer Base. Second use of Mento Mori. And I will say the first use went fantastic. Plenty of slickness. Really easy to whip up a dense, creamy lather. Um, what I will say is it's very low structure. So, you know, if you want a lot of soap, you're going to have to, you're going to have to load heavy. There's just no two ways about it. You're going to have to load heavy if you want a lot of lather, at least if you're a bowl lather, um, if you're a face lather, um, I have no experience with that, so can't really tell you, but, um, I've loaded my normal load twice now with this Guinness base, and both times it's like, I have enough for my two passes, um, maybe a third, like a really light coating for a third pass, um, but that's it. One thing I will say though is it's easy to whip up into a nice dense creamy lather and it's a pleasure to shave with. And it has a real nice post shave feel on the skin um, in combination with the aftershave splash. So 
really enjoying the Guinness base thus far. And although it doesn't make like a ton of lather, when I load it with my normal load, I have enough to get a shave out of it. So although I'd like to have a bunch of leftover um, and you know have more than enough with my normal load, I'd love that to be the case and it's not but I have enough to get the shave done so I can't complain I'm not really not really gonna knock it because I have enough to get the shave done I just don't have a lot of extra so it is what it is not not a deal breaker still uh, enjoy the Guinness base and I would happily buy it again now let's talk a little bit about the scent um, this I've never smelled the real black phantom so this is going to be kind of, you know, take this with a grain of salt. But um, I really do enjoy the scent on this one. It is, the way it comes out in the soap base is kind of a, um, a complex gourmand scent. So it has many kind of sweet characteristics to it. Um, between the dark chocolate bitter chocolate, um, caramel, sugar cane, almond. It has a lot of, you know, sweeter characteristics to it. But then it has rum, which, you know, also has sweetness, but a uh, boozy characteristic to it, which I gotta say, in the soap, doesn't come out as very boozy whatsoever. Um, if anything, it's very light to almost imperceivable booziness. Um, but then you have the, um, coffee and sandalwood, which also create a little bit, um, of dryness, um, and a little bit of body to the experience. So I think it tempers the sweetness. Now, this one, it is sweet, but because of those um, other scent notes, it's not overly sweet. And it's not just straight up, you know, chocolate and caramel. There's more, there's more going on to it. It's a little bit more complex than your typical uh, gourmand. And um, I really do enjoy it. If I remember correctly, I think the aftershave smelled different than the shave soap, and I also enjoyed that. I'll go ahead and give some impressions on that in just a few minutes. Um, but I like the scent of the shave soap. I like the performance of the shave soap. I definitely like the scent strength of the shave soap. And. Um, you know, don't get turned off about the um, soap being made with Guinness. There's a lot of beer uh, beer soaps out there, whether it be hand soap, body soap, shave soap. There's a lot of beer soaps out there, and it's not just a gimmick. Um, the beer actually has um, positive skin qualities to it. It has amino acids, antioxidants, vitamins, um, and actually hops are an anti- uh, inflammatory uh, agent for the skin so there's a lot of things that are actually uh, positive get that inverted J hook very nice the, uh, the edge that Seth put for me on this whacker is holding strong. Still very much a pleasure to shave with.
Oh yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I had a little bit of soap on my hand, so then I rinsed it in the water. And then the hand that I'm about to switch to is wet. <laughs> so that was bad. That was a bad move. All right, let's get this other side. So, this, uh, this soap was part of a three-part drop that Hags called the Darkest Collection, or Darkness Collection, something like that. So we had one with um, the famous, famous Star Wars character Darth Vader on the, la the label, which I uh, don't know. Is, Hags must be a small enough company company to uh, pull that off without getting sued. Because <laughs> uh, they must be flying under the radar with that one, I imagine. I imagine Disney would have something to say about that. Uh, and then they had this one, Memento, Memento Mori. And then they had another one. Um called Creatures of the Night, and um, I think Creatures of the Night was another dupe, a uh, dupe of denim, if I remember correctly, and then um, Dark Side, the one with Vader, I think that one was an original by Hags. Um, and I wanted to get Dark Side as well. But I wanted to get it in the, not the mutton tallow. So they offer a mutton tallow, they offer a vegan, they offer the, the Guinness beer base, and then donkey milk. Yeah, donkey milk I think is the fourth one. So I wanted to get the, the donkey milk soap base. Um, but darkness sold out so fast I was entering a coupon code. And I was on it. I was I was right there, minute one, on top of it. And um, I knew it was going to be limited supply, so I was, you know, I was set my clock, and I was there refreshing the page ahead of time. And, um, you know, I put everything in my cart, and I started entering coupons. Now, I already had the coupon codes copy and pasted. Or copied to uh, a clipboard or whatever on my um, on my app, my phone, so that I was able to rapid fire enter the coupon codes. The problem is, is that as soon as I entered the first coupon code, um, the page refreshed, and it refreshed with the coupon applied, but at that point the it was technically sold out at the point of refreshing so by putting in one coupon it was over i i missed out on the dark side um donkey base so i uh instead of getting it in a different base i wasn't trying to overspend so i just called it at that you know settled with my losses we don't get every every soap we set out for, and um, that is okay, guys. It's all right. <laughs> um, and if they do a restock down the line, maybe I'll get that one. Maybe I won't, but it's okay. I don't need to get every single soap that comes out. <laughs> all right, let me uh, let me rinse off here. We got the Lancaster Razor Works towel here. Oh yeah, and that's just a pleasure to wipe down with. So fluffy, so plush, luxurious. And then, um, let's get into the uh, aftershave here real quick, and then I'll let you guys go. So the aftershave, uh, I think they could have uh, put the skull on the aftershave and it would have uh 
It would have looked much better. I don't know what happened there. But the aftershave doesn't have the skull artwork, which I think is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but there's the ingredients. A very good looking aftershave splash as well. A whole laundry list and directions of how they recommend you use it. We'll give it a shake. <clears throat> this one has a very unique um, restrictor, but it works well. So this is not a shit stricter. It's just a unique shit stricter. Or <laughs> a unique restrictor. So it actually restricts pretty well. And this one is a non-alcohol aftershave. Because um, it's international. And so you can't have um, alcohol aftershaves that get go overseas. So it's a non-alcohol aftershave. Um, but it's, you know, skin food forward, and it's very soothing, and it really conditions your skin to be very, uh, to heal quickly, and, um, leave your skin soft and, and moisturized, so really nice, uh, aftershave here, and it is also bold and banging, and it smells great, and, uh, There's definitely more of that heliotrope, which is barely perceivable in soap. More sandalwood, more coffee, less sweetness overall. And the rum is still very, very low. The, the booziness is still very low. But they kind of swip, swap uh, places um, uh, as far as like prevalence uh, scent notes but they it smells good either way and they're a good complement to each other anyhow thank you guys for watching i appreciate you and i'll catch you on the next one cheers